In this video, I'm going to show you how we use 360 degree photography at the Marriott Library to preserve images of artifacts. The finished product will be an interactive file on the internet that patrons can view. Here's my workspace and my camera. This is one of our lights, and below you'll see our tripod. Next, you'll see the actual turntable that lets us take photographs from all sides of an artifact. We purchased it from a company called Pamco Imaging. It has a two foot diameter that we can expand to three feet, and it can hold up to 200 pounds. This is the light tint that we use to give our artifacts even lighting. It's about five foot cubed and can be easily folded up and transported. Around the back, you'll see our backlight. And that's our whole setup. It can all be easily folded up and transported to shoot at remote locations, so the artifacts don't always have to come to us if they're fragile. Here's the artifact I'll be photographing. It's a jaguar head whistle from Mexico, a souvenir from Chichen Itza. First, I go into the tent and place it on the turntable. I make sure that it's centered on the table so we can be sure to get good images. Next, I'll show you the camera we use. It's a Rebel T3i. I put it on the tripod, turn it on, and attach it to the computer via USB. We shoot in manual mode so we don't get any change in focus or iris. I make sure it's centered on the artifact, zoomed in, and focused. On my computer, I start up the software from Pamco Imaging that controls both the turntable and the camera. I name it Jaguar and take a look at the image. I come over here above the start button to set it to take 80 shots. 80 shots gives us a very smooth spin. I press start and the program takes it away. The table rotates a certain amount, stops, lets the camera take a picture, then rotates a little more. It takes about six minutes for 80 shots and it's not the most interesting thing to watch. For your convenience, I'm showing you the turntable spinning much faster. The camera takes 80 shots spread evenly around 360 degrees. We take the images and combine them into a stop motion animation. Next, you'll see the finished product. Here's the stop motion animation of the photographs we just took. We also use another program provided by Pamco Imaging to create an interactive JavaScript file that can be embedded in web pages. This allows patrons to click and drag to rotate the image at their leisure and see the artifact from all sides. So that's how the Marriott Library is using 360 degree photography to preserve images of artifacts. Thank you.